Hi, welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how we can solve a simultaneous equation, something of this format, by using matrices. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, make sure you have got equations like this in this format. They've got an x term, then a y term, and then it equals a constant on the end here. And if that's the case, then we can represent this by the following matrices. We can say 5 here and minus 2. We just take the x and y coefficients. And then for the bottom line here, we take 7 and 6. So just put 7 and 6 there. And then we multiply this matrix by x and y. And if you do in the usual way, rows by columns. Can you see that this generates 5x minus 2y? Look, 5 times x and then we would do minus 2 times y. And for the bottom row times this column here, we'd have 7 times x plus 6 times y, generating this part of the second equation. And we can equate this then to these values here because we would have 5x minus 2y would equal 16. And then when it came to the bottom row times this column, 7x plus 6y, we know what it gives us. It gives us minus 4. So this is the matrix representation then of this simultaneous equation. It's just a case now of how we go about working out what x, y are. So let's just step to the side for a moment and just think about how we can do ones like this. We're always going to have a matrix here. Let's suppose that matrix is called A. And we're going to multiply A with the matrix x, y. And it's going to always be equal to these two values here. Let's just say, well, in this example anyway, it's 16 and minus 4. So we'll put those in there, 16 and minus 4, a and b if you like, in general. Now to solve this equation here, to get x, y, what we need to do is multiply both sides on the left by the inverse of the matrix A. In other words, A minus 1 there, multiplied by A, multiplied by X times Y, would give us the inverse of A multiplied by 16 minus 4. And we should know that the inverse of matrix times A is the identity matrix I. I'll just write it in anyway. We'd therefore have I multiplied by XY equals the inverse of A multiplied by, in this case, 16 minus 4, or whatever your equation has. Now, the identity matrix times any matrix leaves it unchanged, a result that we should be familiar with in early videos that I've done for you. So we're just left with xy equals the inverse of a then multiplied by 16 minus 4. And this is the result that we always are going to use. If we want to find xy, all we need to do is multiply 16 minus 4, whatever values we've got here, by the inverse of this matrix. And this matrix must be on the left of these values, okay, like we've got here. So, assuming that I'm familiar with this, that if I was answering this question, I would want to work out, first of all, what the inverse of this matrix is. So I'm going to call it A. So I'd say let A be that matrix. A equal the matrix 5, minus 2, 7, 6. Now I'm assuming that you're familiar with finding inverses of matrices, 2 by 2 matrices. If not, just go on my website and look in this series under inverse matrices and you'll find an explanation there. But we had to find out the determinant of the matrix A. 
Remember the determinant of the matrix A was to multiply 5 and 6 together and then subtract 7 and times minus 2. So if we do that we get 5 times 6 which is 30 then subtract 7 times minus 2. Subtract then minus 14. What does that give us? It gives us 44. So when it comes to working out what the inverse of A is, we can say therefore the inverse of A is equal to, and it was always equal to 1 divided by the determinant of A, so that's 1 over 44. And then what we did was we switched these two elements around, so 6 goes there, 5 goes there, and we change the sign of these two elements. So that's minus 7, and then changing the sign on the minus 2 just gives us the 2. So there's our inverse matrix. We could write this as 6 over 44, 2 over 44, minus 7 over 44, and 5 over 44. It's up to you, but I'm just going to leave it like this. I find it easier for problems like this. So by this idea then, it means that therefore, xy okay, is going to equal the inverse of a, let's just put it then as 1 over 44, and then 6, 2, minus 7, and 5, and we multiply this by 16 minus 4. So 16 minus 4. And so the first thing I'd want to do now is just leave the 1 over 44 there, and we'll multiply 6, 2, minus 7, 5 with the 16, 4. That's going to give us a matrix, something like this. We're going to do 6 times 16, which is going to be 96, and then add it to 2 times minus 4, which is minus 8. So you've got 96 minus 8, and that gives us 88. Lastly, we do minus 7, 5 times 16 minus 4. So that would be minus 7 times 16, which is minus 112. And then add that to 5 times minus 4, which is minus 20. Minus 112 minus 20 is minus 132. Now I can take 1 44th of each of these two values. Divide them by 44, in other words. And that means that I end up with 2, 88 divided by 44 is 2, and then minus 132 divided by 44 is minus 3. So you can see that x, y equals 2 minus 3. So at the end of the day, what we have is therefore x equals 2, and y equals minus 3. And so that's how you can go about solving simultaneous equations like this. And that relies on the fact that the inverse does exist. That it is a non-singular matrix. The determinant of A, in other words, does not equal zero. So there's our solution then. So I hope you've been able to find that useful. And you can model other examples like this on this one. Okay, well that brings us now to the end of this particular tutorial. But uh, you can find more in this series on my website and plenty other videos on various maths topics on my website. Just go on there, look in any of the indexes or if you're doing any particular exam board, you'll find videos on topics within your specification.